Playing on, on, alongside Carl Anthony Towns has also helped, Dave. And I think also Chris Finch has helped. You know, some of the limiting and, and not giving Ant this wide berth to take any shot he wants to. Got to get back. Ant had him. Like, what a block by Nas Reed, who's been doing that with greater frequency. When you have someone potentially filling in roles, the ability to rebound and defend is the first thing you're looking for, and he has brought that to the table. Speaking of defending, Durant comes up with a steal, leads Chiozu, lays it in. Minnesota likes to run, but you can also run on them, and we know that the Nets thrive when they get looks in the open court and in transition. Nas Reed, good D there from Claxton. Chioza has it partially blocked away. Wow. The Timberwolves come up with the basketball. Excellent uh, defensive possession that time by Jaden McDaniels. Chioza has it partially blocked away. Wow. The Timberwolves come up with the basketball. Excellent uh, defensive possession that time by Jaden McDaniels. Steve Nash is going to have to decide what his second unit's going to be. Jeff Green has been excellent for this team as Nas can't get that layup to go. Nice pass by d -Lo. Really was. Nas slow to get on the play, so the Nets basically have a five on four. Harris dumps it off, and a chance for an and one for Bruce Brown, who got hit as he put it up. But some, some people are going to get their hearts broke. Edwards dumps it off for Reed. Corner three, no. Might be out of the mix for the playoffs, like he was last year for the Clippers. Edwards was trying Ooh. to get a steal from Jeff Green, and instead we're going to get a foul. I mentioned the assists for the Nets, Jim. They've had 30 assists or more 18 times this season. It's a franchise record, and there's still 20 games to go. Nas Reed, I mean, he probably has that against a lot of teams. Edwards gives up the basketball to Reed. Harris pulls down the rebound. Conditioning and such. Well, and Steve Nash is also still trying to see how these combinations work, Jim, as Kevin Durant and Blake Griffin haven't had a chance to play very much together. Chioza for Griffin, puts it on the deck and then kicks it out. Shamit, an open look for three. More about him when it comes playoff time because this Brooklyn Nets team is going to be prime time. And Joe Harris might be sort of the most uh, underrated player in that lineup when they're there. I mean, Joe Harris is their longer, longest tenured player, Jim, and he might be one of their most important. Yeah. Because, he, you know, he's going to see a lot of open shots in the playoffs. Frankly, shocked. He's played 24 minutes in the game, and as DeAndre Jordan gets one to go down. Reed will go one on one with DeAndre Jordan, and that matchup didn't last very long. 